make this stuff up. Watch. Good morning. It is a day 29 of October 2020. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee from Dee Lovey Life. Thursday morning. I slept super good last night. I was so tired, but I stayed up to the very end to watch the finale of Big Brother, and I'm really glad that I did. That's my show. <laughs> always during October. But the thing is that it lasted until 11 o'clock last night and I was like just barely starting to doze off around 10. I'm like, no, no, you got to watch it in real time. You got to watch it in real time. Mom was totally asleep. I, I just had that moment to myself, which was really nice. After that, I went to bed and I crashed hard. I woke up twice during the night to reposition my mom. If those of you who are now just joining from Vlogtober, my mom had suffered a massive stroke in 2014 which left her pretty much paralyzed on her left side. So she can only turn one way but she can't turn towards her right using that left. So I wake up every, I don't know, every three and a half hours and I will put a pillow underneath her hip to move her from one side and then after three and a half hours then I get up and then I put the pillow and I place that underneath her hip on the opposite side that way that it could prevent from her having bed sores when she was like in a nursing facility in the hospital which was I can't even think of the name anymore which I guess that's a good thing right we were staying in one facility for six months in Las Vegas like they would never really be diligent of turning the patients every two hours. I don't know how many times I raised hell <laughs> with the staff. Yeah. And then they started to turn my mom every two hours. It was really critical because at that point my mom was in and out and she couldn't and barely even move. She couldn't even move her head. It was that bad. Anyways, no bed sores. Thank goodness and I take pride in that so when she's here with me it's always I gotta reposition her I gotta shift her body weight and that's a whole nother caregiving video where was I going with this oh I know so I am well rested for today I have a lot of catching up to do I already made my to-do list as you saw I attended my mom for her morning routine and she is just now sipping the rest of her coffee before we start the rest of her routine which is like helping brushing her teeth and then she gets to wash her face and her hands and you know brush her hair and then later on I need to put my caregiver hat for sure today because I need to give her hair shampoo and I want to condition it today like really like set it if I can but I don't know the weather is pretty chilly overnight we finally got like in the 47 overnight but today we're gonna be back up to the 78 so I have shorts on <laughs> It's already starting to warm up. I don't know. It's that California sunny weather this time around. We're having a really, really late, late start to fall around here, which is fine by me. So I told my mom that I won't do her hair or give her a sponge bath until it warms up for enough for her. Because right now the house is still has a little bit of a crisp chill. <laughs> it's not quite yet sweater weather though. So I need a jump start on my laundry. That is one of the things I need to get done for today. AKA my supervisor, Kitty. She is just chilling right there. <laughs> I spot cleaned her today, so I have a towel on the on the couch, which she's not really liking to lie on the towel, but hey, that's okay. I already got done doing the dishes here, and I have mom's routine, my laundry, the kitty litter, I gotta sweep. I also wanna do a quick meal plan and dinner for tonight and then these are my caregiving things that I need to do. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on today. But first, 
I forgot to put on some earrings. I'm trying to remember to put on jewelry. You know, trying to put on the makeup and trying to do my hair. But right now my hair is wet and I put some leave-in conditioner, that suave leave-in hair conditioner. And there we go. All right, now I can do laundry. <laughs> so funny. It's like, oh, I got to put on my jewelry first before I do laundry. <laughs> I'm going to toss in some of my mom's shirt protectors. Okay, good. I wasn't too sure if I left anything in there. I didn't, so I can start it. Yay! Either this beefy stuffed tomatoes or ooh, summer stuffed peppers. Mm. <laughs> Let's go take a look. I am trying to work on my meal plan for just the next couple of nights. Um, so I know Jay wanted to barbecue and so I have to wait until I figure out what he wants to barbecue but let's check out the garden so looking at this I have some more bell peppers there I might just go for the bell peppers and just kind of do it like a like a casserole however since we just finished doing a harvest yeah these aren't even ready so looks like I'm just gonna do the stuffed bell peppers I mean yeah we're gonna be getting another good yield of cherry tomatoes again just gotta be patient. Oh, look at these radishes. Wow, first time ever growing these. How cool. I have like 13 radishes and they're awesome. And some of the Roma tomatoes. I love using cookbooks and so I'm gonna use the Best Chicken Cookbook and then also all time favorite magazine ground beef. I love it. Many good recipes from there. Here is my meal plan up until Sunday for the rest of the week. Tonight I'm going to try a new recipe here. It's going to be the easy baked chicken and potato dinner. Sounds good. It has butter in there. I've never really used butter with baking a chicken. I always use olive oil. So I don't know. We'll see how that one goes. And I have the fresh broccoli. So I'm going to serve that with broccoli. Friday, since I have some bell peppers, I'm going to do it kind of like in a casserole way. So just basically, instead of doing it stuffed, I'm just going to quarter them up with the ground beef and then the rice and all the other ingredients. Summer stuffed peppers and I'm going to throw in a green salad because I have salad. Obviously I have tomatoes from the garden and I have a cucumber I need to use up. Saturday is Halloween. Do you like my pumpkin there? <laughs> 
I'm going to, normally I always do sloppy joes. That's like a tradition. Now, if we want to mix it up, since I have ground beef the night before, I decided why not do chili cheese dogs instead with tater tots, something fun. And we always like to do something really, really comical and fun after like a holiday dinner. And if you watched Vlogtober last year, you know what I'm talking about. So um, we're gonna be filming that night. So I just want something really simple. And then on Sunday, I figured Jay Pie wants to grill. So we're gonna do a green salad. I'm gonna do my crock pot Brussels sprouts. I have a video on that and then we'll just grill a steak. The only thing I need for the rest of the week is gonna be Brussels sprouts. So I think that's a, a, a good meal plan for the next four days. I don't need to go to the grocery store until Sunday for the Brussels sprouts. And that's my meal plan. I found these at CVS and I think they are adorable. I think I'm gonna put these in our front window but I need to clean the window and then clean the blind. So that's gonna be a while. So I'm gonna wait until Jay gets home and then we can do that together. I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. So I finished mom's routine. I did the dinner and meal plan. Uh, laundry is going as we are speaking. And the next thing I need to do is just mom's sponge bath and shampoo her hair. But let me go run upstairs to the office. In my office, I needed to do a few little things, but first I wanted to go over my mail. Super excited. Oh my God, how cute. A Halloween hello. This special Halloween greeting is sent in the friendliest way. Oh, and then look, they have little pumpkins. <laughs> how cute. And comes just to show that someone you know is thinking about you today. Happy Halloween. Linnea, John, and Fintern. How cute, little pet. We support you and think about you all the time. Like, like, like. <laughs> I love it. And it has a little happy face. Thank you. Oh, how cute. Look at these black cats. <gasps> and they have a letter in here. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, so the first... <laughs> Look at me, I'm getting all excited. First page of the letter has all these little black cats right their second page in their letter has all of these spiders oh how cool and then <laughs> and then the third page all these ghosts oh my gosh confetti I love it and then the last page has all of these confetti saying happy Halloween oh my god that is so clever thank you i cannot wait to read your letter that is the coolest and they also sent me a postcard but isn't that cute <laughs> i also received mail from chandler arizona woo, woo. oh ooh, i like this card boo D, Queen, G, and J. Halloween's a night to boo as you please. Happy haunting, Nadine. Thank you for having a friendly place to go to when I step away from housework and take a coffee break. I enjoy all your videos. I love it. And she included a book of stamps. Thank you. I love that. So sweet, so thoughtful. And I got something from Lynn too cute to spook question what is a vampire's favorite fruit a nectarine <laughs> i love it i love it oh my god lynn queen g is going to totally love that joke i cannot wait she's actually she's starting to gain some more new halloween jokes which we will be sharing with you on halloween night thank you everyone who sent us something we surely do appreciate it i cannot wait to share these with queen g and j during dinner tonight <laughs> oh my god you guys I was trying to adjust my tripod and i was like oh i gotta it's like kind of leaning this way and <laughs> I looked down, I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> Some of that confetti from the letter, you know, the spiders. <laughs> there were a couple down there. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Watch. There was one there and there was one there. I was like, oh my God. 
let me regain my composure here. <laughs> you know, with this whole quarantine, COVID-19, coronavirus kind of bleep, our county is pretty much in the orange tier, which is meaning that we are gradually starting to let our restaurants and other places open indoors with like, I think it's 25 to 50% capacity, but our numbers are just like soaring. I don't think that's gonna last very long and I really don't know how comfortable I would feel being indoors eating with strangers who might have COVID. Jay and I decided that we're just not gonna go there. I know it's totally up to everyone else's preference and what they feel safe and comfortable with. And you know, with Jay working every day, he comes home in a separate area and that's like the contamination um, de disinfecting room, <laughs> basically, before he steps a foot actually into the house. We're trying our best to be safe, remain safe, trying to keep our guard up, and trying not to be so relaxed where we're not as cautious as we were before. I get it. People want to continue on as as we used to, you know, normal. But let's face it, 2020 ain't normal, people. <laughs> You know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do to remain safe for yourself and your family. My mask collection has been growing. Thank you, sissy. I even started videotaping this footage, which I'm going to share with you here shortly, as I'm super excited that my sister decided to sew and create her own face masks for the whole COVID-19 scenario. She actually sewed and donated you know, several hundred masks already to the Navajo Nation and to anyone in general who needs a mask. And let me tell you, her masks are like the bomb.com. They're very comfortable, they're breathable, they're very professionally made. Fortunately for my sister, she got my mom Queen G's jean <laughs> on the whole seamstress with the sewing machine and all like that. So she can do a lot of creative things. And I'm super excited for her because I really was trying to push her to like, yes, yes, get an Etsy shop. I'm like, share your gift, girl. <laughs> She has been sending me and my husband and my mom all kinds of fun masks, and I really like this one. <laughs> this is so me. If you're a gardener or you just like gardening, planting, whatever, isn't that cute? OMG. Elastic to go around your ear. It's very light. I like how also it has a little a wire clip there it's just very comfortable i love it she has like so many fun designs check it out so pammy designs that's her etsy shop go check it out she has so many to choose from you probably will see this one that you see me in my vlogs a lot wearing that one um she has some fun thanksgiving turkey day um gobble gobble for thanksgiving this is one that Jay has. It's a military theme. So it has Air Force, Navy, Marines, Army. Has like left, 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 right, left. And it has hurrah on there. All these fun sayings on that one. Great for veterans or someone in the military. You might know. Her Pendleton masks are really selling out fast, but they are so beautifully done. I am just in awe in these. Um, there's only a few available still, I believe, but she has so many to choose from. She even has a Halloween themed ones, and she also does masks for children, you guys. Check this one out, so fun. Here's Ellie wearing her mask that my sister gave her. And she has so many different types of prints, and they're just a lot of fun. The one on the top with Ariel. I think that's Ariel. That's her on Ellie. That's her favorite mask. We'll always see Ellie wearing that one. And she has breast cancer. She has a bunch of like sports. So go check out So Pammy Designs. As always, I am so impressed and just so proud of her for putting your own Etsy shop together and and she really wanted to do something really special for all of you viewers out there who are subscribed to my channel. She wants to give a 25, 25% discount to you, my subscribers out there. Just use D, D E E 2020. Have my half chicken breasts put in one russet potato and then a large, an extra large red potato with 
with the skin on. One green bell pepper and a medium white onion wedges in there. In my baking dish, I have the melted butter, which I'm going to pour that all over, and then I'm gonna sprinkle with Parmesan cheese, some garlic powder, and paprika, and place it in a 400 degree oven for about 35 minutes. I added the grated Parmesan cheese and then the garlic powder. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle the paprika. They're looking pretty. Now into the oven. Smells good. Good. I love this. Look, to Ellie Boo. And then here's another kids to Ellie. This is Aladdin, I think, right? Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Princess. And then to Mom. Oh, isn't that cute? Trick or treat. Spooktacular. Oh, how cute, it has pumpkins and a cutie. And then this one is to Sissy, that's me. Look, I remember seeing who this is. I cannot remember who it is. Beetlejuice dog? Something like that, right? Cute. And then let me show yours. Where's yours? 2J, <gasps> the Mandalorian. Oh my God, that is so cool. All these masks. <gasps> Oh my god, we got totally spoiled. And wait for it, wait for it to sissy. Bam! Baby Yoda! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck yeah, you know, I'm gonna be wearing this one tomorrow. I don't care if it's just around the house or whatever. Isn't that cute? <gasps> Baby Yoda! Doesn't it uh, start tomorrow? Yes, it does start tomorrow, it's Friday. So go check out her shop on Etsy. Oh my God, so cool. So that concludes Vlogtober day 29. I hope you guys are remaining safe and well out there. Until the next one, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>